Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A lot of you guys requested another painting out loud video because they inspire you and help you. It's really cool that you guys watch the playlist whenever you need a little bit of a boost of inspiration and happiness. And if you guys are new to this series, it's basically a series where we come together to talk about different topics we all can relate to, like feeling not good enough or feeling stressed and worried about something while we relax and create art, hence we are painting out loud. And today's painting out loud video is a special episode because it's a collaboration with the amazing Amanda Rich Lee. You probably know her if you're into bullet journaling, she actually inspired me to start my own bullet journal and I thought, hey, let's ask her if she would like to collaborate with me because I really like her videos, they are super creative and inspiring. And I'm happy to have her on board so we can spread the double dose of positivity. In her series called Sketchbook Sessions, she's going to talk about comparing yourself to others, believing in yourself, and I will talk about how to stop worrying and overthinking. But we didn't want to only create something for you to watch and listen to, but also something that you can actually use. We wanted to create something for you guys that will encourage and inspire you every single day. That's why we created two different inspirational posters that we hand painted for you guys in our videos. And you can also download them for free and print them out, hang up your wall, or you can also glue it into your bullet journal, art journal, wherever you want. So be sure to watch Amanda's video after watching this video to get even more inspiration and to download her poster. I will have all links in the description box down below and at the end of the video. So in this painting out loud video, I wanted to talk about how we always worry about things in our life and how we overthink everything and about what helps me to deal with all that. I'm not an expert on life, I don't want to tell you guys what to do because everyone is different and not everything works for everybody. And I'm still learning but I definitely improved in dealing with certain situations. I used to worry a lot about the future like what should I become, what if I fail, what if everything will fall apart, what if this and that and so on. I was afraid of making decisions because what if I choose A but B would have been the right decision. No one wants to make wrong decisions. Not only because we don't want people to judge us, telling us, well, I told you so, but also because we are afraid of the outcome that we will regret something. But on top of that, I also used to overthink everything. I started imagining conversations in my head with other people, tried to explain myself things to understand why certain things are the way they are. So basically I created this parallel world in my head to kind of cope with certain situations. And I mean talking to yourself is sometimes really helpful if you feel stressed or anxious about something, you can calm yourself down, but this type of talking that I mentioned earlier is not really helpful. It not only drains your energy, but you also create problems and situations that don't exist. You might end up having too high expectations on something because you imagine things a certain way and you imagine how great everything will be and then you end up being disappointed. And on the other hand, you might get sad or angry at someone because you had this long conversation with yourself in your head where you came to the conclusion why certain people don't talk to you or didn't answer you and that's because they don't like you. And another thing is that we usually take everything too seriously and too personally. But in reality, things happen, not everything goes according to your plan. The world doesn't revolve around us all the time, some things just don't have anything to do with us. People can get busy that they forget something or just didn't come around to answer you just yet. And most of the times people are busy with themselves while we create this illusion in our head that these people are probably talking about us and laugh about us. But the other question is why we even bother? Why do we even care about that? But this is a topic for another video. But throughout the years I realized that worrying and overthinking doesn't do me any good. As I said, it's not only draining, but also it doesn't help you at all. When you worry too much, you start overthinking and in the end you just feel stuck and you can't move forward. Or you create these scenarios in your head because you like to interpret things and create problems that don't exist as I said earlier. But throughout the years I also discovered and learned about things that help me to deal with these situations. It might not work for everyone, that's totally fine, we are all different and everyone has their own way of how to deal with certain things. 
But for me personally, what helps me the most whenever I feel stressed, anxious, and worried about something is when I tell myself that everything happens for a reason and this really calms me down. And I don't mean that you have no control about anything and that you can just do whatever. I mean that everything that happens to us is because it has a bigger purpose, a bigger meaning. When I went to high school and university, I really loved the philosophy classes because I liked to learn about how people saw the world. And one of the philosophers believed that the universe is in a constant state of motion, that the universe is constantly changing and evolving. And that everything on this planet has the ability to grow into one's highest potential stored within. And this ability basically guides us towards our highest self-fulfillment. He believes that there is always a reason for everything that happens. So everything that happens, every experience you get, is there to shape you, to define you and to make you grow into the best version of yourself. And thinking this way, not because of him, I just found it interesting that he saw it this way as well. Thinking this way really took a weight off my shoulders. Because now whenever I start worrying about certain things, I tell myself that everything happens for a reason. Whenever I'm worried because of certain situations or if I have a problem, I try to think about why does it happen. Maybe there is something I need to learn first. Maybe it's time to evaluate, adjust or change something in my life because certain things cause these circumstances. I believe that everything we go through gives us an opportunity to realize and to learn new things so we can grow. And Steve Jobs once said that you can't connect the dots looking forward, you can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in the future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life. For example, it took me a lot of effort to get good grades in school, I had to study and do different exercises a lot to become better, and I still was not good enough, so I had to work even harder, while others could just read through the book and know everything for the next test. And back then I thought it's so unfair, I try my best, but it's still not good enough. But now I realized what a blessing it was because I learned important skills like how to study better, how to work harder and when I went to university it was so much easier for me to get better grades and to improve even more just because good grades didn't come easy for me. And it also goes to people we meet. In school I was an outsider, people constantly didn't believe in me or other things happened that gave me a hard time. But now I realize that it only made me stronger. I focused on things that I wanted to do and that I believed in. And I had to believe in myself because no one did. Even if you're surrounded by toxic people or if you are unhappy with your friends or your partner because of this or that, I believe that this only teaches us about what we want, what we don't accept, that certain things don't define us, that we are in control of how to deal with certain things so we can grow. We are our own best friend and we need to make sure that we take good care of us. And I know all these quotes can be super inspirational and uplifting, but sometimes it's just hard to deal with certain things. That even if you believe that everything happens for a reason and that everything is there to teach us valuable lessons in life, sometimes you just can't be bothered with it. But that's okay. We are humans and we can't be strong and positive all the time. We can feel crappy and unhappy from time to time, that's why it's also important to acknowledge that and to accept that. As I constantly say, life is too short. Why are we wasting our time with worrying about things that we don't even have control over? Why are we wasting time creating parallel universes in our head and create problems that don't exist? Instead of focusing on living a happy life and accepting all the bad and good things. I mean, that's life. I believe the less you worry and the less you overthink things, the more positive things you attract in your life and everything just falls into the right place. I don't think that we will ever have everything figured out in life. We will always learn new things, we will screw up, we will learn again and we just need to find a way to conquer life with all the bad and the good things in it. A way that works for us. If you ever catch yourself overthinking something, take a moment and think about is this really true? Is this really happening? Did this person actually told you this or is this something you think this person wants to tell you? 
And if you worry about something, maybe it will help you as well to think about what can you learn from it and what is the worst that can happen. Usually it isn't that bad, we can always go back and restart with all the knowledge we gained. I know it's a difficult topic because sometimes you just go through such a tough and hard time that it seems like nothing can help you and that it's just everything is awful, but remember that everything turns out for the better. And I send you lots of love and energy that you can get through everything and become a stronger person. I really hope this video helped you in some way. Let me know in the comments if you have any other tips how to deal with worrying too much and overthinking. Let's exchange tips and ideas so we can help each other out. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. It will mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next week. Bye!